Hello, John. Hello, Barbara. Today we're going to talk about Lucan Village. I was passing through Lucan Village and I had a coffee with a friend and I went for a walk around and it's actually a lovely old little village, you know? That's right. So are you familiar with it? Oh, yeah, I'm familiar with it. Uh, over the years, I had uh, customers in it uh, and uh, I know it very well because uh, when you used to go down to the west of Orange, you had to go through Lucan. Okay. There wasn't any of these roads, and you went through uh, Lucan and, and uh, uh, Leechlip and all these, you know, that's the way you went. And so, but I mean, I know Lucan pretty well over the years. Um, it would have been in an umpteen times. Mm-hmm. So, one building I came across was the old parish school. It was really, really nice. It's from 1827. It's a very ornate looking building. Um, and then you have the Methodist Church, which is Protestant. Do you know much about Methodists? Or? Well, it's one of the um, 30,000 different Protestant religions. Uh, might be that many in this country, but there's, there's probably at least uh, 20 different ones. Yeah. And I came across um, a lovely waterfall, uh, Weir Park. Yeah. So you said there's a connection there with, with the, the windmills or the water? That's or, right. Uh, they used to have uh, water wheels. Uh, water wheels uh, right. subsidiary uh, Shackleton Mills was there um, on, the, on the strawberry beds side of Lucan. As you're going, uh, when you go across uh, a bridge, you can go from Lucan along the strawberry beds with the River Liffey on your right hand side, and then some houses and nice houses and ordinary houses. Not that many, but uh, there, and a couple of restaurants. It's a lovely drive, a lovely scenic drive, and you can stop here and there and view the tranquility of it because it has that, and there doesn't be much traffic in it, but Shackleton Mills was situated there, and um, and they were there for many years, hundreds of years, and um, so, um, but Lucan Village itself has a lot of facilities uh, by way of uh, old style pubs and by way of a um, uh, hotel that's there, that's there for many years, uh, the Lucan Spa Hotel owned by the Colgan family that used to own all the co- county pubs in, in Dublin. There was about eight or ten, I have a feeling there was ten, and they were owned by the Colgan family, which were from uh, County Roscommon. And their pubs uh, were very well run. Oftentimes it was their sons that was um, in them, uh, but they were very well run and the staff were, it seemed to be a very pleasant place to work. Because those times, uh, people working in pubs were were belonging to the Lewis and Vintners uh, Association. And uh, so therefore they had rights and they were often apprentices. It was a, it was a job that had uh, a salary structure. But now oh, that's changed now since since the whatever you like to call it a progress which is not that good for the people working in those places. They're not paid as much as they would have been there. There was trade unions. Yeah, yeah. Now, speaking of trade unions, okay. Um the Shackleton Mill was the subject of a uh, union membership if we go over a hundred years ago. And there was the the lock the, the lockout, if you remember. That's right, nineteen fourteen. <clears throat> so, Shackleton he was the owner of the mill. But he was also the owner of a lot of houses for the workers. The workers couldn't afford their own houses, so he was their landlord also. So when they, when some of them um, joined the union, others had to refuse to join the union and uh, because Shackleton was providing not just their job, but their house also. So this created a kind of a split um, during it's the right. lockout in Lucan Village between the people. You know, it would have, it would have caused uh, it would have caused trouble have caused because trouble. like um, it was a general lockout because most employers uh, didn't want the unions and so it was a general lockout throughout the country in every sector including the railways and all the rest of it. Nineteen thirteen and uh, James Larkin and I think Connolly was a trade unionist as well. He was executed as one of the leaders in the nineteen sixteen. Uh, um, fight for freedom, party person, all them. Uh, so, uh, nineteen thirteen was uh, was a year when when workers got some rights because they were uh, their, their 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 jobs were at the whim of the owner, and they had to jump when he said jump. Uh, they, they really weren't treated with with respect. They were just um, 
the way now that uh, you have, you used to have personnel departments, now you have what they call human hu- human uh, resources, as if like uh, workers are a resource. And that is a very dangerous philosophy to have. It doesn't in- induce respect. Mm-hmm. Uh, I never liked uh, the idea of human resources, like as if uh, you're like just raw material. Yes, uh, so... Um, well, workers are entitled the same as everybody to assert to respect for for what they do because if they weren't there, these employers would would be just like uh, they would they have nothing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so and there's a little river. I don't know what the name, but it's flowing through the town. And there's a little there's a little park, um, and there's, there's there's a little river that flows. It's probably a little uh, subsidiary that goes into the Liffey. That's what I think. It yeah. might have a name now. And funny enough, I just can't remember what the name of it was, uh, because you often have subsidiaries, rivers going into the Liffey or going into the Shannon, as the case might be, and they often have a name. And um, so, um, but Lucan is a very scenic, and it has the, still got the village atmosphere in the village itself. It has absolutely, you know. And you know. Uh, the Lucan Spa Hotel is a great asset to the town because they don't charge the city rates. Uh, that you have to pay in Dublin itself or the south side, except uh, maybe with um, the Talbot Hotel in Stilog, and that's owned by by the Pettit family that owns the supermarkets. There used to be Pettit supermarkets, but now they're under the... There's five or six of them, and they're under the uh, the business of super value uh, because they used to buy direct, and now they, they, they super value, so it's a different setup. Uh, they they are a great employer and they own the Talbot Hotel in in, in Wexford and they own the Talbot Hotel in um, in Stilorgan, which is uh, does great business. I stayed in it and uh, they also own another hotel. Um, it's called something else in another part. Just can't think of the name of it anymore. Oh, it's in Carlo. I was known as the Royal Hotel, but mm. maybe they changed it to the Talbot. Yeah, so and there's a lovely, in, in the main street there, there's a lovely attached, I think it's Courtney's pub. Um, it's attached, That's their years. Yeah, yeah the detached now is showing the signs of its age, you know. I think I was reading an article in the Irish Independent there a while back to say that the, the, the people who do touch buildings, you know, that's a dying trade because... Yeah, there's not enough. There's not enough, but also you can't get insurance apparently on attached house. Uh, things yeah, just attached house is where you see the insurance... Uh, uh, are law to themselves uh, and if they're trading in insurance they're supposed to insure when customers have a need for something without adopting that attitude it doesn't seem right it doesn't but that's the way it is and they have a lovely pub and it's a very kind of ornate looking building it's called O'Neill's Pub you know, that's a so lovely pub yeah I and, know uh, I stuck my head in the door because the outside looked very inviting but I stuck my head in the door anyway and there was a f- quite a few punters in the daytime at about 2 o'clock <laughs> it would be, yeah. yeah it was a big they might be know. having their sandwich as well as a point. Well, this is the thing, you know. And then yeah, lo- M- M- Mooney's pubs used to be very popular one time. Even in London, there was a Mo- Mooney's pub in the Strand. And I used to, sometimes when I worked in London in the uh, television station, I used to get me lunch there for two and sixpence. Yeah. You'd get a good plate of food. You'd have an appetite them times. This is the thing. And yeah. you'd have the chat and all the rest of it. It was just a... Uh, uh, and a little oasis. Absolutely. So yeah, it's it's a lovely place to buy a house. I mean, I've seen a few houses for sale. There's some very uh, very old stone houses there. That That's right. 150, 200 yeah, years old. They would have been built by the the like of Shackletons. Actually, yeah, probably. Yeah. And I wonder who built the houses along by the, the waterfall. You know, the weir the weir park that we were talking about. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you see, they they they, they would have been maybe added later. Okay. I don't remember them much when I was familiar with it years back. Yeah, there's, a, there's, there's a long row of houses in Weir Park across the way, and I was thinking to myself, is that where the Shackletons maybe put their staff into those it houses? It could be, yeah. So that's something one must check into. Yeah. 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 So there you go, Lucan, lovely village. Lovely um, village, yeah. It's a very warm, well, well worth a visit that for anybody that wants to just see what life is like. Uh, back the way it was. Yeah. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much, Oliver.